Connecting the dots in the tech world. Tune into podcast by Reddington for a friction-free tech journey. Hi, and welcome to the Reddington Podcast. My name is Fari Kimani, your host, and I'm super excited to be bringing you this series. Reddington, an integrated technology solutions provider, enables businesses in their digital transformation journeys by addressing technology friction, the gap between innovation and adoption. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Karen Belmelia is Director of Consumer Category Management, Device and Creativity in Middle East and Africa for Microsoft's Consumer Sales Organization. Devices and Creativity Category is responsible for landing Windows ecosystem strategy and marketing in the consumer segment together with their Microsoft 365 consumer products and subscription services. Karen has been with Microsoft since 2006. The CV goes on and on and on. And there is so much more to you, Corinne. But I think for the sake of our viewers, I think we've said enough and it is really such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Good morning, Farid. And it is such a pleasure to be here. And I'm so happy that we have the opportunity to talk about Genuine Windows 11 today. Yeah, and it's really exciting to talk about Genuine Windows 11. So I think let's just get straight into it. And I'll start with the first question. Uh, so why are Windows 11 PCs important to consumers? PCs are central to people's lives, more so than ever before. From browsing the web, to shopping, learning, working, entertainment, and just basic household management. There are also gamers in our community who thrive on competition and community. Because Windows 11 is designed for simplicity and accessibility, it makes this everyday activities easier. All right, great, Karen. Now we hear that uh, Windows 11 PCs are in fact a real deal. So why don't you tell us about some of the outstanding features and benefits? So Windows 11 is an easy to use powerhouse with performance and security you need for your everyday tasks. Let me elaborate on that. Let's start with it's easier to use. Everything you love about Windows is now even more lovable, starting with a clean design, end user interface that makes it much easier to search and find the content that you're looking for. The other thing is that it's easier to be productive. So Windows 11 provides more efficient ways to be effective, whether it's a creative endeavor, a complex task, or just a plain old tedious one. New multitasking tools help you get it done faster, easier, and with style. Another important thing is that it's easier to, say, to stay safe. <laughs> Before you even start your PC, Windows 11 is on guard. Windows software works in combination with your hardware and was designed with built-in technologies to help you keep your app's identity and information and your privacy secure. And then last but not least, it's easier to play. Windows 11 PCs give you a premium gaming experience. Not only do they have the performance and pixels you need to power your gaming passion, they're also compatible with apps and accessories that gamers love. So there's two things in there that stuck out to me, creative endeavors and gaming. Those two things have got me sold. But you also mentioned something about safety. Uh, and you guys have a great tagline. It's easier to stay safe. What does that mean? So genuine Windows 11 means real security for you. And that's what we mean by easier to stay safe. So the security journey for Windows 11 dates back to 2019 when we announced the first secure core PCs. So what does that mean? Secured core PCs are a major revolution in digital security and are twice as resilient to infection as traditional PCs. Some of the security benefits of Windows 11 include advanced antivirus, biometric security, privacy guards. Your data is safer on Windows 11. Smart app control makes it easier to block untrusted apps by allowing only apps predicted to be safe. The other thing Smart App Control does is that it's the best way to stay protected long term. Customers need, of course, to be working with the latest security update to get this feature. The other feature is the Microsoft Defender app, which is identity protection. It makes it easier to keep personal data personal. It works with Windows security to protect your new PC. And then we also have OneDrive um, backup, which makes it easier to back up your files to OneDrive, which is a cloud storage. And they remain available safely in the cloud when PC and data recovery is required. 
That sounds incredible. Now look, everyone knows that tech is where it's at. We're barreling towards the fourth industrial revolution. And a big part of this technology is obviously the operating system, such as Windows 11, which is needed to make the computer workable. What is the risk of non-genuine software or non-genuine operating systems? What, what, what is the big risk? Because I mean, look, we've all, we've all been tempted in our, in our lives using uh, PCs. We've all been tempted to say, well, it's cheaper, so I think I'm gonna go with this option because software is not cheap. It, it can be quite pricey. So what are the risks of taking the easier option, the cheaper option? So non-genuine software may come with viruses and may lack the security measures needed to detect them. You basically may be opening your home or business to serious threats from hackers and malware without even knowing it. Software piracy is a widespread global problem. I mean, cyber criminals are exploiting non-genuine software to spread malware and users are really exposing themselves to multiple security risks. So I think we all have a friend and I also have a friend who says that uh, he can get me a working copy of Windows 11 for way less than retail. I gotta ask you, and I think I know the answer, but I'm gonna ask you anyway, should I go for it? So it's advisable to check if it is genuine and you can go to how to tell on microsoft.com to avoid exposing your PC and data to attack. Now buying a new PC pre-installed with Windows 11 from a trusted PC manufacturer is the best way of ensuring your PC has genuine Windows 11 and that you get the latest security and performance updates to protect your data and keep your system running smoothly. Now, I think those those are those are known. If it's genuine, things will obviously run smoothly. But I mean, if you're buying a PC with Windows 11, uh, a genuine Windows 11 uh, software, how does that benefit me in other ways? So we, we talked about security, right? So you keep receiving the latest security. The continued support means your PC stays defended against today's evolving cyber threats. You'll have access to ongoing security updates from Microsoft, and there's no risk of pre-installed malware. You receive feature and performance upgrades too. The latest features and apps and user experience optimization add to the quality of your PC experience and keep your PC running smoothly when they go live. And it all happens in the background. Windows 11 downloads and, install up and installs updates with minimal disruption to you, learning when your active hours are and scheduling them at times when you're not busy. And the great thing is that smaller updates are keep happening in the background and they keep your bandwidth free. Okay, that's interesting as well because this kind of leads into my next question. Um, I'm on air every morning from six to 10 and obviously information is key to me. So I always have like, you know, I won't say hundreds, but tens of windows open, uh, jumping in between them to find the information I need uh, to stay up to date and things like that. Um, and of course, um, stopping and starting tasks, for me, it, it starts to become quite inefficient. Is there an easier way for me to manage all this information so that I can just kind of, you know, funnel it into one place? You bet. Windows 11 comes with snap layouts and multiple desktops to help you better organize your windows and make better use of the available screen space. The functionality has been extended to touch devices like tablets. And the feature works more seamlessly with Microsoft Edge. It's now easier to snap open tabs into perfectly designed windows. You can also try it out by yourself. There's a shortcut for it, which is the hotkey windows and Z. Another question I know, uh, well, well, that I need to ask, but I know many people have the same question is if they have an iPhone or an iPhone device and want to get a Windows 11 PC. You know, in the past, there's always been this, you need this to partner with this and you need this device to partner with that device. Are there ways for them to work together despite their different platforms now? Yeah, and it's called the Microsoft Phone Link. And it's exactly what you're looking for. It allows users with iPhone devices to reply to messages, check notifications, make calls from their Windows 11 PC. And this feature, by the way, is also available for Android phones. So it doesn't matter what smartphone you have you can enable this feature on a Windows 11 PC. Um, Corinne, I'm so used to the touch gestures and voice typing on my phone, allowing me to use it easily in more situations. You know, why can my PC not behave like that? It can, and with latest Windows 11 updates, it gets even easier. So on touchscreen devices, you can tap to select, swipe to navigate, pinch to zoom, you can also swipe the screen edges to bring out features like taskbar, widgets, and notifications panel. 
You can select and drag the objects to move them around, just like you would do on your smartphone. It's also possible to navigate and type with your voice. So we have advanced voice recognition. Without even an internet connection, it can be used to transcribe your spoken words into correctly spelled and punctuated test, uh, text. And lets you quickly interact with buttons, slides, windows, etc. And then last but not least, there's the digital pen capability. You can launch apps, you use most and draw, sign, add a personal touch of art, for example, and the natural movement of your hand. It's all there to help you work and play in the way that's most comfortable to you, because that's when the best comes out. And a little tip there, um, you can go ahead and try advanced voice recognition. Use the Windows hotkey and H to bring your voice to the interface. You can also set it to pop up whenever it detects your cursor in any text box. That is really, really cool, actually. I had no idea, but that's super cool. Um, and let's say I need to show someone whatever's on my screen exactly how it is. Is there a better way than taking a picture of it with my phone? So there is, there is something called the slipping tool and it was made to capture exactly what's on your screen so you can show someone how you see it. Now you can do the same with video even using the screen recorder. So snip or record, annotate to provide extra context and then just share. Um, again, there's a tip there, so you can use the Windows hotkey Shift and S to quickly access the snipping tool whenever you need it. You can also use your digital pen to mark up, highlight, whatever you know aspects that you want to capture. Well, Corinne, thank you so much. As a newly converted Windows 11 user, I'm super excited, and uh, this journey is just beginning for me, uh, and I cannot wait to to experience what it, what all, what genuine Windows 11 has to offer. Uh, from a creative perspective and all other perspectives of my life. But once again, really a pleasure to have you here with us today. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. It's been great to, um, to speak with you. And I hope the viewers find this uh, informative and that we have a lot of switchers to Windows 11 genuine PCs. And yeah, have a great day. So wonderful to be here. Wonderful. Speak to you soon. Thanks a lot.